like anybody else's hair, and then they go back to what? Nappy! <laughs> so nappy is the best hair. But see, they got us looking at how they look. Everybody else look, you want to be like them. No, let them be like us. Can't do it. They can't go to nappy. If you ain't got nappy, you can't go to nappy, right? So listen, look, let me show you. So you don't, you don't think I'm just talking out the side of my neck. Daniel 7 and 9. This is the most size here. How Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And I'll be held. This is Daniel 7 and 9. This is the most high. How you look? I'll be held till the thrones were cast down. That's all the kingdoms going to be shut down. Right? And the ancient of days, who was the most high, did sit. Ain't nobody more ancient than the most high. Whose garment was white as snow, and the hair on his head like the pure wool. Hear that? The hair on his head like the pure wool. Can't get no clear to that. That's nappy hair. Okay? So. Philip asked him, I see I was shy something. He wanted, he wanted to tell him, hey, show us the Father. Look what my shy was shy said. Go to St. John 14 and 8. Philip said unto him, my was shy, show us the Father. And it suffice, it'll satisfy us. My was shy said unto him, have I been so long with you? And yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me, have seen the Father. And I'll say as thou then, show us the Father. So, Mashiach Yahushai said, you see me, you see the Father. How, what kind of hair he have? Revelations, one and one says the revelation of Mashiach Yahushai, the revealing of him. What kind of hair did he have? He said he's like, the, like father, like son. Revelations, one, the first chapter, All right. First chapter and the 14th verse. His head and his hairs were white like wool, fully gray. But the texture of it was like wool, just like the most high had the pure woolly hair or pure nappy hair. It's our power, y'all. And he loved us. We the children of Israel. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like a defined brass, brass, brass driven to a brown, as if they burned in a furnace. So you burn brass in a furnace, it's gonna turn very dark. So he was a very dark-skinned man, what we consider today blue-black. And his voice has the sound of many waters. He had a strong voice. But you go out in the ocean and talk to people on the shoreline without a microphone and amplification. That's our power, y'all. Proverbs 29 and 2. Proverbs 29 and 2. Oh, yeah, you're going to hear the word today. Ain't gonna be no peace, man. Ain't gonna be no peace. I don't care what they do, try to do, come up with, ain't gonna be no peace, man. Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. That's why we mourning right now, man. That's why I say Judah mourneth in Jeremiah 14, 2. Why? Because we oppress. We shot down and the verdict is always not guilty now. We came over here in slave ships, man. In the holes of the bottom of ships. And we ain't rose up from this condition that we're in right now. And the only way we're gonna rise up is to come back to the most high. Repent and come back to the most high, man. Come back and learn his rules and regulations. Y'all know the rules and regulations of the so-called white man. 
Y'all know his rules and regulations, else he put your butt in jail. Put you in a cage somewhere. So why not learn the, the, the rules and regulations of the most high? That you can prepare yourself for the kingdom. You don't want this to be your consolation. This place going down, man. Ain't gonna be no America. Ain't gonna be no peace. Ain't gonna be no America. This, you just standing or sitting in the lake of fire. He just ain't lit the fire yet. But it's coming. It's coming, man. But where you gonna be at when it comes for you? But it's coming. Everybody gonna feel this. So we gonna rejoice when the righteous, we the righteous, when we rule, man. That's when everybody gonna rejoice. That's when we gonna be rejoiced for our peace and rest. Because everybody gonna be working for us. That's what the Bible talking about. Name a prophet. They all talk about the same thing. The downfall of this place that we in right now. But y'all don't know it because America's not in the Bible, but it is in the Bible. Babylon the Great. Babylon. Yeah. Here it is. What's that? First testimony. I am going to defend myself. Like, look yeah. at this nigga, I've never seen you in your life. I'm driving by, giving you the eye. I wouldn't put my feet in you, not feeding you. That's how you looking at me. I'll tell you something. Like, First Thessalonians 5 and 3. Yeah. When they shall say peace yeah. and safety. Is that what you talking about? Hey, peace is tied to the force of Snoop and uh, game. They got them saying it's peace, unity. When they shall say peace and safety, huh? Huh? When they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them. As to veil upon a woman with child. I tell y'all, it's just like a woman having contractions, having a baby. She had no contractions, they fall apart at first. That's why you see all these disasters that's happening amongst us. They were far apart. One time you couldn't even to remember what happened last. Now they happen to back to back to back to back. Just like a woman having a baby, man. They're like having contractions. They get closer and closer and closer together until pretty soon the baby is born. That's why it says. But when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. As travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. You know that? You ain't gonna escape, man. Why? We ain't gonna escape, man. Hebrews 10:31. They ain't gonna escape this. Point blank, no way, shape, or form. Hebrews 10:31. Hebrews It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. You see, if you don't know the most high, as the word says he is, how the spirit say he is, then you don't know him. That's why it's such a fearful thing to fall into the hand of the most high, man. You understand? But see, our people think, oh, y'all have created your own power behind what the white man say he is. Cause that's where it stemmed from, from slavery. All these religion, you know, allowed here, the white man in there monitoring us, how are we gonna teach our people? You're gonna teach our people like this. Overseers, right over us, or in when we picking cotton in the field and when we call ourselves coming to the most high, religious. They got a movie coming out with Nat Turner. You know about Nat Turner, right? You know, you know about Nat Turner? Nat Turner was a slave, man. They, they, what he was doing was going back to get his land that they took him off of. See, all of us didn't come from Africa. We had land, man, we, we, were the, we had great land mass. So he had what they call the Louisiana Purchase. That's part of the Turner, Turner family, man, the Wachita, you understand? So they took him off his land and put, made him a slave, just like that movie, uh, 12 Years a Slave. Remember, he was free, right? Free man, doing his thing, right? Playing the violin, he was living a life with his family, right? They made him a slave, so they took him and took, made him a slave, so he went in there and acted like he was learning from the white man religion, but they had certain calls that they would come together, and he went from plantation to plantation, taking back the land that was his. Understand, man, we own the land from the, from the Gulf of Mexico all the way to Canada. You understand? We did. We did it. You ever heard?
word? We got Indian uh, in us, right? Our family, right? You hear that growing up, right? Because we are the Indians. You know what I mean? That's how, when they came over here first with them slave ships, the Indians, so-called Indians, because they're the 20 tribes of the 10 tribes, man, killed the Edomites. That's the way the white man is, you know, he the Edomite, right? Killed them, and we ran among the tribes here, and here amongst them, and they couldn't tell who was who. Now you figure that, right? So then they started branding us. When that brand, they brand on us, so they said, oh yeah, and they brand the Indians too. You got this brand, if they caught them, you got this brand, we got you with this brand. You understand? Brandon, men, women, and children, Brandon. So they said, we run them over, let me take, take your shirt down. And they branded us between our, our butt, man, all kind of nasty crap that they did to us, man. We ain't even know it, man. Worked us from sun up to the time that we got to sleep, maybe about four, five, four hours, four, five hours, get up and work again. Look at the, look, I tell you what, Google up on YouTube the slave narratives. Slave narratives. They got Oprah Winfrey and Samuel Jackson, all of them doing them. Reading what the what the slave narratives were saying, what the people of enslaved, the last ones that was enslaved, you know what I mean? Telling them what they went through. It's bad, man. They what they did to us, huh? I'm forever united with Christ. Come man. That's right. So look, Hebrews 12, 29. Don't get the back. Don't. What's what's the expression? For our power. I've never seen you in my life. Well, our power is, your is a consuming fight. See? Our power is a consuming fight. That's why I say it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Most High, man. That's why hey, people gotta come back to him and realize he's the only way, man. You gotta come back to his laws, that's It ain't hard either. Look, if you love him, people say they love him, right? That's what he says in 1 John 5 and 3. Well, this is the love of the Most High that we keep his commandments. And his commandments, which is his laws, his rules and regulations, are not grievous. But they tell you that you're not under the law in the church, right? But you are the mercy and grace. The mercy and grace was only given to the children of Israel. Because we the one that was given the laws. These other nations say all the gods of the nations are idols. You don't know them. He ain't